Hello, friend. Welcome to the very first session of PySpark series. Okay. Uh, in this session, we will understand how to um, start working with Apache Spark using Python, which we call it as PySpark. Okay. So the very first thing we will learn is how to define the data frame. We will start from very basic. Okay. Uh, but first. Uh, thing before defining the data frame, we will understand what is data frame. Okay, what is data frame? So basically, data frame is, um, if we think of uh, a Spark perspective, data frame is one of higher level APIs. Okay, it is one of higher level APIs, higher level APIs. Okay, um. Uh, uh, what what is higher basically uh, in apache spark okay there are uh, multiple types of apis first is spark core apis okay which is which is re really the base level uh, on which uh, apache spark works okay then there is higher level apis okay higher level apis which includes a uh, data frame and Spark SQL, okay. Third one is uh, graphic, okay. Then there is ML lib, okay. Uh, so uh, data frame is uh, higher level API. Uh, basically, the difference between higher level APIs and Spark core APIs is higher level APIs are uh, easy to write the code, okay, and there are much more optimized. So Spark recommends to work at higher level APIs, okay, and one of higher level APIs is data frame, okay. Uh, now, few few things about data frame. Uh, first thing I'll tell that data frames are not persistent, okay. Uh, I mean to say. As soon as your cluster is terminated, okay, or as soon as you stop your Spark session, your data frame is gone, okay. So data frame is a kind of a temporary uh, work that you use to get your work done, okay. So that at high level about a data frame. Now, the first way we will see of defining the data frame is um, create, I would say, data frame using Python list. Okay. You have some data in Python list. Okay. And from that, you have to create a data frame. For example, uh, if I see, I have uh, this data. Okay. Let me try to copy here. Yeah, if I have this data, okay, and um, on this data, let's say uh, here, here it is very uh, small number of records that I have considered. Okay, maybe I think six records, but there can be multiple millions, trillions of records can be here. Okay, and from this list, you want to find out maybe uh, let's say. Uh, the customers with age greater than 40, age less than 30, anything, anything, any business case you want to find out, okay, using Apache Spark, and you have huge amount of data. First of all, uh, using Apache Spark, um, you should have a huge amount of data. If you have very small amount of data, there is no use to use Apache Spark. Basically, Apache Spark we use to get parallelism, okay? Parallelism comes into picture when you have good amount of data. You have multiple partitions of data or multiple blocks of data stored at your storage layer. Okay. So let's say I have this customer data. I have to do some operations on this data, some analysis on this data. Okay. So first what we'll have to do is we'll have to uh, create that list or we'll have existing list. Okay. Uh, the UI that I'm showing here, it's Azure Databricks. Okay, this is a uh, community edition of Azure Databricks. If you want, you can definitely go ahead and see how to create the uh, community edition of Azure Databricks. Okay, now to create the, uh, I would say a data frame using 
uh, Python list, we have uh, the first option available. I would say uh, customer DF, customer data frame. We have Spark dot create data frame. Okay. Now the format of Spark dot create data frame is DF is equal to. I'll just tell you uh, high level uh, format. Okay. What we have to put here. It is data and schema. Okay. So as of now, let's not go into too deep. We have we have data available. Okay. What we'll do, we'll just put the data here. Okay. And I'll try to run this. Fine. This is complete. My customer's data frame is created. Now, if I want to see this data frame, we have many options. I can use in data brick. Okay. I have display customer df. This is one option. I can see if my data frame is created. Okay, so and my all data has come here. Okay. One thing you will notice there are no column names. Okay, there is no column name. Okay, because the reason being at no point in time over here we have defined a column name. For column name we have not yet defined, so it has taken a default column name. Okay. Uh, now another way to see this data frame is I think customers df dot show. Let's see if it okay it will work. Customers df dot show. Okay, this is one way. I think it shows in a tab tabular format. Okay, again here we don't have column names. It has taken default column names. One more thing, display you can use in one more way, and just put a display here. Okay, display and see the customer df is created okay now here mm. we don't have uh i would say a column name okay so first step is to add column name okay so generally uh what we do the part that we have seen in the format here we have data plus schema okay so what is schema schema is basically uh i would say a column name plus data type okay so whatever column names it has taken it has taken by default let's understand what is data types that it has taken for this okay uh, as this is small data it may have um, you know it may have inferred correct data types but generally we don't uh trust in inferring the schema we uh we definitely try to define the schema i'll definitely explain how how we define the schema okay but first let's try to understand what is the uh data types for these columns it has taken okay how to check that we have customer df dot print schema okay we'll print the schema of this data frame so if we see and this underscore one its default column name it has taken it has taken it as string second it has taken it as long okay third it has taken it as string okay so because data is small it has inferred correct data type okay that is fine but we will as of now keep keep in mind we will not go with inferring the schema okay we will go ahead and define the schema how to define i'll let you know Okay, fine. First, first, uh, very simple method we will understand is, uh, how to, uh, I would say define column names. Let's say we want to add column names to this. Okay, what I'll do? I have customer df which I have already created. What I'll do? I'll just make it customer df one, customer df dot there is one by spark i would say a transformation 2df okay now the format of 2df is like this df is equal to spark dot create data frame okay here we have data okay and 2df so understand using 2df 
we are not defining any data type using 2df we are just defining column name okay for example column 1 column 2 column 3 etc whatever it is right this is the format of 2df with 2df as i said we are not defining any data type so we are not defining complete schema using 2df but as we are going step by step i'm explaining how to define the column names okay so here what we'll do uh what is data we have for example customer name customer age and customer profession maybe okay so let's write that the first column is cost name second column is cost age and third column is cost profession okay now he will say here you have used create data frame data and dot to df okay here i am directly <clears throat> creating 2df this customer df is what this customer df is result of spark dot create data frame okay so this we have already followed this is our customer df i have just applied 2df to that 2df right let me run this customer df1 is ready okay display you all know by now how to display customer df1 okay and yes now you can see it looks like looks like a complete data frame complete data where we have a customer name okay we have customer age we have customer profession right so this is the way definitely not used in industry this is like this is the place where we have defined column names okay we have not defined any schema okay schema as in we have not defined a complete schema schema means column name plus data types okay so here we have not defined any data type we have just given column names okay but this is first very basic way how to create a data frame okay how to create a data frame and at least how to assign column names to this data frame okay in next session what we will do you also explore from your side what are the ways how many ways we can have to define the schema okay uh, while creating a data frame okay i'll also explain in next session but you also explore from your side what are the ways okay how to define the schema okay and how to use that basically it's very simple as i have shown here schema we have to use we will define some variable okay and we will use it here the same same way as we have used data okay so uh, let's understand how to define the schema in next session uh this video if you feel it's useful then only like share and subscribe if you feel it's not useful if you feel there is something that can be improved do let me know in comment section i'm ready to implement that okay thank you so much see you in next session